Jameson Redding here with Jackson Kayak, and I'm excited today to walk you through the brand new Kilroy HD. Most of you may be familiar with the original Kilroy, but we wanted to update that platform, make it easier to accessorize, a bit faster and a bit more stable. Plus, we've added a whole lot of new features. The new Kilroy HD is 12 feet 10 inches long and 36 inches wide, which is 6 inches longer and 4 inches wider than the original platform. That makes it a little bit quicker and a lot more stable. So let's take a look at all the new features in the Kilroy HD from bow to stern. Starting at the bow, you'll notice we have the Jackson Kayak flag that's gonna come standard. We also have a nice molded in handle that makes it really comfortable to grab for loading and unloading, and it doesn't catch or snag hooks. Moving back from there, we have the snag proof Hypalon strap so that you can quickly stage that paddle when you need to, and a little bit of padding so that it's quiet. Also on the deck here, we have a big padded area with gear track on either side. So you can add all kinds of accessories here or you can use it for storage. One of the things that we wanted to do with the, the new Kilroy HD was make it very, very versatile. So whether you're hunting, fishing, just going out for a paddle or you need to pack a lot of camping gear, you have tons of storage options. So you'll notice on the gear track on either side of this, we have slots. These slots allow you to use cam straps to secure any gear right here on the bow. As we move back from the bow deck, you'll notice that we have multiple rod staging options molded right into the cockpit, drain holes, and tethering cordage that is looped through so that you can secure dry bags or tether different tools, whatever you may need to tether to the boat. The bow and stern of the boat are open so you can store and access gear really easily when you're out on the water. Taking a step back here, one of the first things you notice about the Kilroy HD is how much track it actually has. Tons of options to mount different accessories. And on either side of the cockpit and down the center of the floor pan, we have a track system that makes everything really modular so you can adjust for your seat, your leg length. You can mount those accessories where it makes the most sense for you without ever having to drill into the boat. Digging into that a little bit, we have the Omega rod holder that comes with the boat that you can mount on any of the tracks. It also comes with the Jackson Kayak cup holder that will mount anywhere on the tracks. Down on the floor, we have an adjustable footrest that has some padding here that you can use as a hook keeper or fly patch. That can be completely removed from the boat if you just want a more open cockpit area. We have the rod tubes so that you can actually store two rods down each side of the gunnel. And on either side, there's a nice padded area so that you can stand. The track that runs the length of the gun on also has ports for the cam straps, rope, or bungee that makes it really easy again to secure whatever you may need to for a day out on the water. Also on either side of the cockpit area, you'll notice these two raised molded areas that give you another spot to be able to stage that paddle quickly and easily. As we move back towards the seat, you'll notice that we have some hidden handles on the inside of both gunnels. And this will allow you to pick it up and throw the kayak on your shoulder if you need to to be able to maneuver it and load and unload. Now let's take a look at the Jackson Kayak High-Low Ergo seat system that's been updated this year. To start with, we have a padded snag resistant material on the front and back, which is gonna make it super comfortable and hooks won't be an issue. On the back of the seat, we have the integrated Molly system that will allow for all the different accessories and it comes with the Jackson bag attached to the back, which will mount either by hanging or through the Molly system. This will hold the standard Plano boxes as well, so you can put some tackle in there or whatever you may want. To adjust the seat from high to low, you'll notice these orange clips. You simply open them up, pick the front of the seat and slide it out from the back, and then slide the back in the other position, drop it in, and re-secure the clips. You can also tighten them down by simply turning the thumb screws for extra security. Underneath the seat, on the seat pan, we've also included a nice little storage area and some bungees so that you can secure more tackle boxes or whatever you may need. You can also completely remove the seat and seat pan by simply loosening the two thumb screws and lifting it out of the boat. This gives you plenty of space if you want to put an Orion cooler in there and use that as the seat instead. With the seat removed, it makes it easy to see the rod storage down the side. And as we move back from that, you'll notice that the bow and the stern are almost a mirror image of each other. We have the molded in rod stagers, the cockpit drain holes, the tethering cordage, and then the big open area on the deck with the pad so that you can secure more dry bags and gear. Gear track on either side of that with the molded in cutouts for cordage bungee or cam straps, and then a nice molded in rear handle. You'll notice right above that handle that we also have the standard power pole mounting option 
with the four molded in inserts. And as always, we have the replaceable skid plate located on the stern of the hull. In addition to all the features that you see built in, we are constantly working on new accessories to really make this boat one of the most versatile kayaks on the market. For more information on these accessories, specs on the Kilroy HD, and where to find a dealer, go to jacksonadventures.com.